Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Um, looking at a Citroen C4 Picasso here. So I've currently got a battery disconnected, but on the diagnostic machine here, we're getting all sorts of codes come up, sort of all different electrical codes, the issue he's having on this. Uh, DPF uh, gearbox, basically all sorts of different codes, and he's been having issues where delete the codes, you check it next day, it's got a completely different fault on it. You clear that code again, Next day it's saying it's the gearbox, clear that, then it's saying the, the DPF's wrong. Then there's a, there's um, problems with the the lights, the wipers. Basically it's saying everything is failing, but you clear it. Next day the fault is completely different again. So obviously they can have ECU issues, but what I always usually do on these is what I'm doing here, just pulling off each one of these fuses. And you see the white sort of try and get it on an angle there where you can see you get all sorts of white um, corrosion coming around the, the plugs and it doesn't get a good connection just get the plugs clean up all sides and then get the connector on here the same sort of stuff again you can see it's all sort of white crystallization on it uh, well, what do we call it? Like white copper aluminium corrosion sort of stuff. Um, just clean them up as well. So we'll clean that up as well now. So you just clean it up till it looks like that. Clean these ends, both ends, and two sides of the fuse. So if you can see that there, just get it so it's nice and shiny. All the white sort of corrosion has gone. Now it's not just Citroens, Citroens that have these. Um, this sort of setup, Volkswagen is very common. I've fixed loads of them by just cleaning up these. Um, of course, if you if you might have wiring issues or ECU issues, it's always worth cleaning these first before you start digging too deep. So here's the next fuse again. You see, you can see the state of it. Now, so all it takes is just a little bit of that, and uh, doesn't get a 100% clean connection, and it can cause all sorts of craziness with the electronics. That's another one there, it's in really bad condition. We've scraped off all of the rust that was down there already. A little pile of it just sitting at the bottom there. And that's it, all cleaned up. Okay, now they're all cleaned up. Okay, now all the fuses are cleaned up. Uh, I'm just gonna run a battery test, make sure the battery's in good condition. It's a stop start battery, European, and we have 760 ish amps. State of health is 33%. Internal resistance, 5. So that is saying to replace the battery. Now the car has just driven here on a long journey, so it's had a good charge. It's only been switched off for around about 15, 20 minutes, and the battery's been disconnected all that time. So we'll just run the scan again. So as it's going through the systems there, you can see it's just switched on the radio. Uh, it switched on the wipers, uh, that didn't happen on the last scan, it, the wipers didn't come on, but they, something is obviously changing. Okay, so we're done, we'll have a look at the faults we have. That one. gearbox and fault in the CAN communications. So let's clear those codes now again.
that's the battery tester there I'm using from the launch website. Uh, you can connect that to a phone app or you can connect it to the Euro tabs or any of the launch diagnostics. So yeah, if you've got a launch scan tool you can connect it to that or you can just download the app on your phone. Okay, so we will reset all the codes and it's going to drive it around for a few days. And I'm sure he'll give you a comment on the video here in a, in a couple of days for an update. So that's it. See you in our next video.